how dispatcher timer works so timer basically what is meant by timer type in c sharp for it uh, if you declare the timer from system namespace it is going to be elapsed based on the specific time interval if we provide a value into the time interval based on that it will uh, it will uh, create it will generate it will offer its events and whatever we have written the logic or event implementation it will get executed so here in the dispatcher uh, here in the wpf we have a dispatcher timer so that timer which is integrated which is integrated into the dispatcher queue and which is space, uh, which is going to be processed at the specified interval of a time and based on the priority it is demo what we're going to do in this uh, simple wp application just add two rows here and create row definitions and this add two rows here we'll show some uh, timer value on the screen and we'll demonstrate it so in these two rows we are going to show one text block and uh, that text block will be having one text property text so dispatcher timer demo and it's vertical alignment center horizontal alignment center font size let's say 50 so this is one text block one more text block which we are going to see in this text block uh, the text which we are going to show this text will be a kind of let's just uh, dash dash on this uh, we are going to update the value of a dispatcher timer so let's make it this center as well in center the font size 50 and this text block specified this heading text box is going to be on first row here provide a zero value okay, dot right attach property here also provide a one value so in the second row so this dispatch a demo and here on this dotted lines we are going to show a timer value so come to the code behind and this code behind declare a timer dispatcher timer so dispatcher timer so this is inside this uh, windows of threading namespace so declare a dispatcher timer also if we want to provide a Mm, interval for it just int uh, or interval count mm. from here we want to start it so this is interval count and if you want to provide max count up to which point it should go max count let's say max count is 100 and uh, interval count which is going to be from one second okay this is we are going to start at one second now this initialize this timer timer dispatcher and uh, provide the interval as well for this timer tick how you, when it's going to be generate its stick event so interval uh, and uh, provide a time span so by using this by using this structure time span structure from seconds we can provide and this is going to be value which is we taken as the interval count so after every one second it's going to be a performance stick now and tick event also we have to create by using this uh, dispatcher timer so this timer dot tick plus equals to so this tick event we can generate by using a tab so this timer tick event which is generated here that's a blank code and after you know registering this tick event we have to start as well so timer dot start we so start so after starting it will come here so now what we have this is the interval count one so after, after first tick First of all, we'll show this value of tick if uh, timer interval, this interval count is less than or equals to max count. It should be a less than max count. Then only we are going to show this value of uh, interval count on our text box. So for this text box, we are, didn't have given any name. So provide a name here. So this is with our this name property, x name x and uh, ext interval so this interval which we are going to show on the screen so here txt interval dot text property we need to update equals to this interval count dot to string so this value we are going to update else if this interval counts becoming more than the max count it should be a less than or equal to then we have to stop the timer as well so this is a timer tick logic and here it will start on the constructor itself we are starting it if you want to do more specifically on main window loaded also we can do that also possible if you start running it 
uh, we should get the real value of this interval here okay now start running so now at the starting we have given as a one value and it should go up to 100 so then a priority timer tick it will increase its value so but now we have to increment this interval count as well so after printing this first we are going to increment this so in this if logic we can increment or after execution of this here we can increment this interval count plus plus so after every one second it will get increment now run it so you can see here so this is how after every one seconds it's printing value of this uh, time it will go to up to 100 and it will stop because this is the condition what we have written interval count less than equals to max count so we have to wait and a uh, few more seconds to complete it up to the 100 so now you can see this uh, has been stopped at 100 because our condition met here and timer got stopped